guys, it's Tiny Tay and I'm back today to talk about some of my faves and fails of October. I'm super excited for this video. I've seen and I watch a lot of these videos because I'm obsessed with learning new products, discovering new brands, and shopping. So naturally, this is how you find the best brands. So if you're watching this for those same reasons or just because you love my content, Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. I cannot say again how thankful I am for a thousand subscribers. I love all of you. If you're returning, hi. Welcome back. I missed you. Let's get into it. So we're going to start with our faves because we always want to start on a positive note. And we're going to jump all around, but we'll get there eventually. So the first thing on our faves list is the Lululemon Define Jacket. If you're watching this and you know me personally, you're probably shocked. And honestly, you have every right to be. I have fought the urge to be a Lulu girl for probably like six years. <laughs> like, for a long, long time, I just, I didn't want to get the hype for the sake of my financials. The hype, I didn't need the hype in my life, right? Okay, now I'm kind of at a point where I can explore some new things. I have different life vibes, um, so naturally I am beginning to explore the lemon. I must say I do only buy on the pretty much we've made too much. I don't think I've ever paid full price for anything that I have from Lululemon because I don't love it that much. I like it, I can enjoy it, I can appreciate how nice some of the items are, but most of the pants, um, most of the tops too, I only really have like five or six things that I like, would actively buy, and would continue to come back to buy. But unfortunately I did just buy something new from them, kind of out of my comfort zone. Um, it was a pair of ribbed shorts, and they came with a sensor on it, which is super inconvenient because the Mall of America is pretty much my only Lulu store, aside from another one in a different suburb, which is also out of the way because I don't live in the suburbs. Um, I don't live in those areas, so I was like, okay, well, I have to drive an hour to get this taken off now. The sales lady was kind of spicy, so that really also turned me off like 2% because I'm already not like super in love, invested in it, so I was just like, in. I just won't order online anymore, which is fine because I don't go to the stores a lot. If I do, buying one thing isn't going to kill me, especially when I'm shopping on the sale rack, and I'm fine with that. And I got this on sale, believe it or not. I don't remember for how much. But I do love it, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get it the size that makes you look snatched. I could have, but I didn't. Um, I don't even think they had that size at the, as an option at the time. So I just got this because it's navy blue. I love navy blue and I don't like wearing navy blue with black together. So it's nice to have a navy blue jacket. Um, it's a size eight. I think I would have needed a size six to look snatched, but at the end of the day, it's not about that for me. It's about having a jacket that's comfortable and that is very versatile and works with me. I'm also a grump about pockets, and these pockets are very large, like the size of my hand, which is basically the size of my phone. Um, and they have inside pockets and outside pockets, which I love. And pockets are a really big deal to me because I'm always changing my purse and I'm always, like, switching something up. Um, also, beside it just being very cute, it's nice to kind of wear weird weather days, and I'm just loving it. I find myself reaching for it a lot, like, no matter what situation I'm in. So, to me, that's like getting my money's worth, and I enjoy it. Moving on to the next item. It is Hey Humans deodorant. Um, I think this deodorant is like $8, I want to say, at Target, which is a very nice price for natural deodorant because the native deodorant. I want to try it so bad, but I cannot bring myself to spend $15 on it yet. For the Christmas additions to come out because I love Christmas and I love peppermint, I love pine, I love all those kind of scents, so I'm hoping there'll be one that can draw me enough to try one of their body washes. I can't say I'm going to try one of their deodorants because this deodorant really is top tier. For me, it's a natural deodorant. Um, it looks like this. I've had this one for quite a few months. I'm not going to lie, the cardboard is falling apart because I'm not careful putting it in water. I'm very rough on it. As you can tell, it looks like it. That's why it's like curled in at the bottom. Um, 
but for me I have hyperactive sweat glands and I've always probably since like third grade not been able to find good deodorants for myself deodorants that can keep me covered fully and not have like breakthrough stinkiness honestly it's really hard having hyperactive sweat glands because you're constantly worrying about being musty honestly for me anyway <laughs> so uh, this deodorant has covered me fully like even when I sweat I can feel it getting wet but I do not smell my sweat which there are very few other deodorants like that that are natural I really do want to try my best to be a natural deodorant girly is the rose water ginger by the way which smells so good and it's held up I've had this since like April probably and it's very good the next thing on the list you're probably gonna think is kinda random but this is the L.L. Bean Bow and Tote. I love it. As you can see, it's huge. It has a zipper on it. I have two of these because I love them so, so, so much. I travel with my yellow one because it's just a little bit better with color-wise. Um, but I've gone on two Disney trips and taken this with me, and I've been able to fit a bunch of stuff back in it, like two lounge flies, a Kate Spade bag, like a ton of stuff you can pack this baby to the brink and the zipper comes out so you don't have to worry about busting it you can pack it all the way to the top I know that because I have I love it and also this doesn't wreck your shoulders I have a previous shoulder injury from a car accident and this I can carry with me all day it's also very easy to put on planes because it stuffs down and crunches even when it's filled like it still stuffs super good it's just a really good tote if I would have had this when I was in cheer, my life would have been a whole lot better, I can tell you that now. Um, but just as a traveling school, you know, like putting all of my like clinical stuff in here, plus it's cloth so it can be washed super easy. Um, and I actually protected it with stain spray, so I haven't. I've taken this out plenty of times already, and it's still fairly clean. Um, and like I said, I have two. I love them. They're super thick and also they're L.L. Bean. So the quality was just good to begin with. And I love it. It's currently one of my favorite things right now. I'm probably using it weekly, whether it's like going to a friend's house, going to the gym, something. I'm using this because you can fit so much. And if you actually take the time to like fold it down, you could probably, like this could be a weekender. It probably is a weekender, but I just like overpack way too much so that it's not. But this is currently at the top of my faves list. The next thing we have is bio oil. I have heard quite a few different things about bio oil, quite a few mixed opinions. However, it works for me. I have seen it lighten up my stretch marks within weeks. I'd say probably like a month and my darkest stretch marks were like non-existent you do have to use it every day and every night which is probably hard for some people and I have noticed that if you don't use it consistently it does not work as well but I'm consistent it works for me I'm loving it also my skin is super dry and I do use, use mineral oil anyway so it's kind of like not even adding an additional step in my routine because I already am using mineral oil for the most part since my skin is so dry. Um, I love it. It is a little pricey, I think, for what it's worth. I think it's like $22 or something like that. You ha Like I said, you have to use it twice a day and a little dab does go a long way, but I found that it probably only lasts about like three months, which I guess actually isn't that bad but if there was a different lotion or cream like I know people who use the Palmer stretch mark oil say that it lasts like six months which again that's more of a lotion and it really just depends on where you're using it how much you're using it I use it in three different spots so it could just be me either way I love it I'm gonna continue to buy it um, I have found that it does not work for scars, so I would say stretching an uneven skin tone, um, aged and dehydrated skin are probably the most things that it works for me, which is three out of the four things that they say it works for, so, but again, a lot of mixed opinions on this one, but I like it. I like it. I'd have to give it, like, number three in my skincare faves, so... 
So the next thing we have is this coach bum bag, fanny pack, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I've been loving it for weddings lately. It's super easy to style. I'll add a picture of me wearing it here or around there. Um, it has a pocket in there to keep all your like cards and stuff close to you, which I really like. And it's just very like large. It's big enough to fit my EpiPen and both my inhaler and the Aero Chamber, which if you know, that's like, it's long. Um, and all the other essential items that I need. Plus, it's a little bit dressier um, than just like the Lulu fanny packs and other stuff like that. Like you can just spice it up and dress it up or down so nicely. I'm really enjoying it. Plus, it's super light. Like even when I put my stuff in it, it's very light. If I ever didn't want to carry it like that, I can on my waist or just like over my shoulder, like casual kind of vibes. But I really like it. I did get this like four years ago and I thought that someone stole it from me, but I was actually able to find it when I was going through some long hidden things for me that I had long forgotten about. Um, so obviously that made me want to use it a bunch more. I haven't gotten rub off on it yet, which I've been super careful for in particular. I check every night of course, but... I haven't yet, which is super good, and the leather's held up super nicely, and I've been using it probably for like, I've been using it a little bit longer than just the month of um, October. I'd say definitely since the beginning of September. And I am growing my love for it again, but every time I look for it and try and find another, they're either on like Poshmark for like prices that I'm not willing to pay, or I don't know, whenever I look on Coach, I just cannot find this specific style anymore, and I don't remember what it was called. I'll have to do a little bit more research and try and find another one. I remember there was a brown one that I was debating on against, um, which I might just go back and get, because it's just such a classic look, and bum bags are totally in right now. This is definitely at the top of my fashion faves right now. The next thing I have are these two faves that kind of go hand in hand. It's the native unscented sunscreen, but they do have scented ones. This acne face wash from Burt's Bees I got from Walmart for $2, as you can tell. I think it's only like $6, so not super pricey, and I'm super happy with. I will say, it does leave a white cast. I'm okay with that because I rub it in very well. Um, and I will also say, it burns your eyes very badly, but the ingredients list is very good. It is Plus, like I said, I'm a fan of Native, and I don't mind their stuff that I would use regularly, but scented body washes, I have eczema and dry skin, and it's winter here, so like I said, that wasn't reasonable for me to buy, but this that I'm using every day, plus I got it buy one, get one 50% off, I think during the Target like sunscreen summer sale, and I got a little pump one that's so cute, it's travel size, and it actually has a pump top on it, which I'm a sucker for pump tops, if you don't know, I just feel like it's such a vibe, but... Using this, um, since I had only been using the other Black Girl sunscreen for probably like a year, a year and a half-ish, because I bought two of them, not knowing that I didn't like it, um, my face started to break out, which it wasn't anything bad by any means, but I just realized that I needed a daily cleanser. I usually was only washing my face like three times a week because it gets really, really dry, um, but I started doing it every day and this is moisturizing and I found that it helps as you can see I've been using it every day for like two months a month and a half now um, And it's keeping me clear and it has a really good lather This is one of those products that you can use like a dime size drop and actually be good with the dime size drop Like I am enjoying it very much plus I use the Burt's Bees blemish stick anyway So it was already a part of like my routine consistency and the way it feels after I do like this, I know I only said kind of like negative things about, but overall I love it. If you blend it in, it really does look fine. You don't know. And for me, a lot of it is just the natural ingredient list. So these two have been very vital in my skincare routine. Okay, so my two fails this month. I'm sorry, this video is already super long. So let me just quick say it. One is the Hydro Flask. I've had this Hydro Flask since like freshman year of college. I was never impressed with him. I wanted to like him so bad. I thought I was in my visco girl phase at the time, but ultimately they do not keep your stuff cold at all for very long. Like, I've had multiple of them. They just don't hit for me. I want to like them so bad, but the straw leaks. I just don't love it. 
So I'm actually selling this one on Mercari for fairly cheap. If you're interested and you want one, you want to test it out, it's super cheap because it's dented. And like I said, I used it. I wanted to like it, but it just wasn't for me. I eventually moved on to Yetis, which I like. I don't love, but I think because I'm such a Stanley girl now, my expectations for this are even higher and I'm just so like over it that I just want it to be gone. I don't love the idea of pre- cooling your water bottle, putting a whole bottle of ice in it, then putting it in the refrigerator, then dumping the ice out or dumping the water out. Like, that's too much for me. If it can't be cold with cold water and to go, then what is the point? I just don't like it. It's my fail. It's not just an October fail. It's been a fail for a while, but I just listed it on Mercari, So I was like, this is probably my only fail for the month. The next fail is the Touchland hand sanitizer. I wanted to like it so bad. All my friends told me they love it. My mom thought I was gonna like it. So she got me one. It was very, very nice for her. She got me the watermelon one, which normally I do love. But the scent is so potent. Like, it is... It smacks you in the face. And just the hand sanitizer just like you have to spray like 50 times just to coat your hand and actually get a good lather on it again I am a nursing student so I'm used to that hospital lather up like 30 seconds still rubbing your hands and I love that I love the feel of that the moisturizing hand sanitizer the Purell that they have at the hospital I actually love I wish I could just get some pumps of that um, but ultimately it just didn't hit for me the smell the lather and the moisturizer wasn't really that moisturizing I like I just didn't find it to live up to its hype I tried to look for it to show you guys in this video um, but I had it to post it on Mercari and then I like misplaced it of course but again if you're looking for that it should be up in the next few weeks I'll find it but yeah I just didn't love it it was my fail I had already used enough of it that I felt uncomfortable returning it but it just did not hit. The moisturizer was like weird, like it made your hands feel weird after that I just ended up washing them. Anyway, so I don't know. I just I just didn't love it. I wanted to and I hear everybody else saying they like it, but I didn't love it. So those are all of my fails and faves for the month of October. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Please tell me what you think about any of these products if you have them. I would love to hear. And please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. Bye.